So today's notes is in 6.2 in the textbook. You need to have uh, your notes with you, and you can look at page 20 in the book and follow along. In the diagram below, angles 1, 2, 3, and 4 share a common vertex O. So there's the center point O, the vertex. These angles are called angles at a point. The sum of the measures of angles at a point, a single point, because if you think about connecting all of these arcs here, you're making a complete circle. So what is a circle worth? A circle is worth 360 degrees. So you can see because a full turn around any point, think of it if you have one of like those pinwheels and it spins around, it spins around 360 degrees. So a full turn around any point is 360 degrees. So it might be split up into three angles or four angles or five angles. The sum of them is 360. Use algebra to solve problems in angles at a point. Find the value of x. Find the value of x in each diagram. So we have 138 plus 84 plus 4x has to equal 360. Remember this picture. On the next slide is the work that's done for you. So the 138, the 84, and the 4x has to equal 360. Put our like terms together, which is the 84 and the 138. Subtract 222 from both sides. Dividing by 4, you get that x is 34 and a half. Find x. So x is 34 and a half. We've gotten the goal. It didn't say find 4x. What's the value of 4 times that x to add up to that 360? So 4 times that x must be uh, 222. 4 times 34 and a half? No, that's not right. 222 and 138. Does that equal the 360? Oh, yeah, it is 360. Oh, okay, it must be 222. Okay, so now they only have given us, in this example, all axes. So again, there, there's three angles here at this point O. And any distance, a complete turn around a point is going to give you 360 degrees. So how do you find x in this picture? 4x plus 2x plus 3x. Those are our like terms. We add them together. You can see it's already solved for you. 9x has to equal 360. Dividing by 9, x equals 40. Remember that the value x equals 40 is not the measure of any of these angles in the diagram. The angle measures are as follows. We're just, we just found x. It's not the measures of the angles. It didn't ask us to find the measures of the angles, just find the value of x. But if it did say, and give the three angles, you would have to put that x into each one of these expressions. 2x would be 80, 3x would be 120, and 4x would be 160. And yes, 80, 120, and 160 does add to 360. Next slide. Find the value of p in this diagram. So we have three angles at O here, and they want to know just what is 1P, not 7P. So these are the angles at that point O. Substitute in their values. So I'm following these little directions over here. So AOC, AOC is 7P, and AOB is 75. And BOC, the measure of angle BOC, is 145. So adding those together, it has to equal 360. Simplify means put your like terms together, which is the 75 and the 145, which is 220. So 7Ps plus 220 has to equal 360. Subtracting 220 from both sides. And that's what this little step tells us to do we get 7Ps equals 140. Dividing by 7 on both sides, divide both sides by 7, and we get P is equal to 20 degrees. So P is equal to 20 degrees. Does it say what is 7P? Well, we know it's 7P is it's 140. And if you add 140, 145, and 75, yes, it is 360. So we've got our value of P in this diagram. A, 
point B is a straight line. Find the value of each variable. Oh, so now we've got a C, a B, and four Bs. Hmm. So again, this one's worked out for you, so I'm just going to talk through this example, this solution. So measure of angle two and three, these top ones, that's half of the arc, or half of the turn around the circle. So they equal 180. Two and three equal 180. So 4B, which is num angle number three, plus 80, which is angle number two, has to equal 180. Subtract 80 from both sides, divide by four, and you get B is 25. Now that we know that B is 25, I can put that right here, 25. So you can see that one, angle one and angle four, they are the other half of the arc. They're the other 180 degrees. So C plus B has to equal 180. Well, we know what B is, it's 25. So substituting that in, subtracting 25 from both sides, you get C must equal 155 degrees. So we solved for B being 25 and C being 155, each of the variables. So that was worked out nicely for you. And the next example, not worked out. So I'm going to use that same concept that they just used in the last example. BE, so BE here, is a straight line. So they're telling me that R plus 152 must equal 180 because they make up line BE and these two angles BOA and O I'm sorry AOE are supplements so they have to add to 180 so 152 plus R equals 180 so that's going to help us find the R value subtracting 152 from both sides we get R is equal to 28 degrees. So I know that. Then I also know that CA, CA, so I'm going to change colors here. CA is a straight line. So that's telling me that this arc, or these three angles, R plus three Qs plus 68, has to equal 180 degrees. That's what the CA is a straight line is giving me. That's the piece of information. So 68 plus 3 Qs plus R has to equal 180. Well, I know what R is. That's 28. So 68 plus 28 adds to 96. I'm going to go ahead, plug that in there, add them together and get 96. So 3 Qs plus 96 equals 180. When I subtract 96 from both sides, I get 3 Qs has to equal 84. And dividing by 3, dividing by 3, I get Q has to equal 28 degrees. So did I solve for each variable? I know what Q is, and I know what R is. Oh, interesting. Or Q and R are vertical angles and they're congruent. Oh, there's another way I could have done this. But you haven't learned vertical angles yet. This little red pair here, these are what are called vertical angles. They are diagonally across from each other when two lines intersect, line BE and line CA. That's tomorrow's um, lesson, but a little preview there. Q and R are the same angle because they're called vertical angles. PQ is a straight line. Find the value of each variable. PQ is a straight line. PQ. Well, there's my straight line. So M plus 149 must equal 180. Those are supplements. So how to solve for M? Add M plus 149 equaling 180. Subtracting 149 from both sides. I get M is equal to 31 with the degree symbol on it. So I know M. So if M is 31, 3 times 31 down here is going to give me 93. So I know this angle, which is an obtuse angle there, is 93. So I'm going to switch colors here because 
that I did the top arc of M in 149, the bottom arc of N, 3M, and 70 also has to equal 180. N plus 3M, which I know is 93, plus 70 also has to equal 180, the bottom half of the arc. So that's 163 when you add those two together, like terms 93 and 70. So N plus 163 equals 180. Subtracting 163 from both sides, I get N is equal to 17 degrees. So I found N, M, and I also happen to find three M's. Using ratios. Oh, now we have three numbers in our ratio concept. Yesterday we just had like 1 to 4 or 2 to 3 or 1 to 5. Now we have 1 to 2 to 2. So A goes with the 1. B goes with the 2. And C also goes with the 2. So B and C must be congruent. And I always say put an X on it. So I'm going to do that right in the picture. And again, the textbook is going to show you the bar model method that Singapore likes. So A plus B plus C is like one unit plus two units and two more units. Altogether you have five units. Dividing by five, you get a unit is equal to 72. So A must be 72 and 2 times 72 is 144 and they found that twice. So they, the, doing the unit method or the bar model method Okay, one to two to two, draw one box, two boxes, and two boxes. As I said, I'm gonna put the X on them and they chose to call it A, so a one to two to two, they put an A on each of them. I said X, you can use any letter, it doesn't matter. So one A plus two A plus two A, here's the algebra way of solving it. Five A's has to equal 360, divide by five, and yes, we know A is 72. And therefore, 2As is 144. So here's one for us to practice. In the diagram at the right, the ratio of A to B to C is 1 to 3 to 5. So again, I'm going to do 1 to 3 to 5. I'm going to follow the order. A goes with 1, B goes with 3, C goes with 5. An order always counts in a ratio. Find the values of A, B, and C. Okay, the ratio of A, B, and C, 1 to 3 to 5, so B is 3, A is 1, C is 5. And they have to add to 360. They are angles at a point, so that's why they add to 360. I'm going to put an X on them. That's what I do. You can put an A, or an M, or a Q, or any of your favorite letters. So A is 1X, B is 3Xs, and C is 5Xs. All together have to equal 360. So when I add those up, I get 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9 axes. Has to equal 360. Those are like terms. Solve the multiply equation by division. And you get that x, one of the axes has to equal 40. So a equals 40 degrees because it's the 1x. b is 3x, 3 times 40. Well, that's 120. So B is 120 degrees. And C is the 5X. 5 times 40, that's 200. And yes, I can quickly add this column together and see that, yep, yeah, mm, yeah, they had the 360, so I didn't make an error in my computation. So C, which is the 5X, equals 200 degrees. So we have 200, 120, and 40. I did a little mini check here. They do check to add to 360 degrees, so I must be correct. And that's it for today's video.